Welcome to LPA, What's New in the News. I'm Jasmine Akai. And I'm Brianna Bell. We bring you breaking news out of our Lakeside campus tonight. So, Brianna, there seems to be a lot of talk about this Title I grant, and I'm not even sure I know what it is. Can you shed any light on what all the excitement is about? Well, Jasmine, I do know it is the nation's oldest and largest federally funded grant, and that it provides schools with additional funding for students. But here to tell us more about it is Shannon Vanderpool. Hello, Mrs. Vanderpool. We would like to learn more about Title I. Can you tell me what your role here is at Lakeside is? Certainly. I am the Title I and Parent and Family Involvement Coordinator here for our Lakeside campus. Can you tell us more about the Title I grant and why it is so important? Well, Brianna, our Title I grant provides additional funds to our school to ensure that all of our students have a fair, equal, and significant opportunity to obtain a high-quality education and reach at minimum proficiency on challenging state academic achievement standards and state academic assessments. Why do we need these additional funds? Unfortunately, Jasmine, some of our families and students are facing things like job loss, poverty, and even homelessness. These things, as well as many others, can put students at risk for low academic achievement. So it's important we offer the resources students need to help them be able to succeed here at our school. Do all of our student benefits or only our at-risk students? Well, our school is a Title I school-wide program, and our funds are used to directly impact students' learning by providing resources to the entire educational program of the school. So to answer your question, yes, all of our students and families here at Lakeside benefit from the grant. What are some ways they benefit? There are so many ways. Our grant provides for additional staff, additional academic support and learning opportunities for students, additional curriculum, extended day tutoring, full day kinder, free summer school, professional developments for staff and teachers, and parent and family involvement opportunities and workshops. And that's just to name a few. Wow, that's a lot of things. But how do we get this grant? Well, over 70% of LPA Lakeside student population qualify for the free and reduced lunch. A school with a minimum of 40% of students enrolled in the free and reduced lunch program will qualify the entire school for the Title I funds. Thank you, Mrs. Vanderpool. It seems like the Title I grant is doing great things, but don't take our word for it. <laughs> our on-site reporter, Vincent Ortega, hits the halls to learn more about the exciting things happening at Lakeside. Thank you, Jasmine. I'm here in the Title I room talking with some of the staff and learning about the goals of Title I, as well as the advantages of the grant. Mrs. Watson, can you tell me more about what happens here? Sure. We offer many things here in the Title I room. If a student is having a challenging time with reading or math, they may come into our room for additional supplemental support. We call these like pull-out services. They can take part in small group interventions, reteach class, or before and after school tutoring. We also offer some additional enrichment classes where high achieving students come to expand their knowledge even further. It seems like the students really enjoy their time here. What are some of their favorite things, Mrs. Wattens? They love it when we incorporate hands-on activities and manipulatives. We also spend time playing standard-based games, singing educational songs, and group work. We know everyone learns differently, so we try to offer a variety of activities for different learning styles. What other kinds of interventions do you offer? Title I paraprofessionals spend time in all the classrooms every day. We call these our push-in services. While in the classrooms, we work with students during their reading and math blocks. Push-in programs benefit all students. Since there's a teacher in the classroom to instruct students and a paraprofessional to offer additional support. How do students qualify for Title I services? When determining which students are eligible for services, school administrators look at many different factors, including class rank, scores on state and national achievement tests, and performance feedback from teachers and parents. A student's economic situation, such as whether or not they qualify for free and reduced lunch, is also taken into consideration. Are there any other services offered here in the Title I lab? Yes, we work with teachers during the week and track students' formative scores. Students who are still having trouble mastering a standard after reteach may be invited to join a tutoring group either before or after school. Thanks to everyone in the Title I team for your information and all your time. But we have a few students back here who want to remind us of all our Title I goals. Hit it! Increase academic achievement! Provide additional instructional support!
That sure looks like they're having a lot of fun. You know what else is pretty great? All the amazing additional curriculum that we are able to have, all thanks to our Title I grant. Vincent is standing by with our Vice Principal, Mrs. Rogers, who is also the administrative liaison for our Title I program. I bet she can tell us more. Thank you. Mrs. Rogers, can you tell us more about the school's curriculum and how our Title I grant helps with that? Sure. Some of the things that our Title I grant purchases are our assessment tool, which is Galileo, as well as our Beyond Textbook program. Uh, an important uh, curriculum that it also purchases is our Learning A through Z, which has a Reading A through Z and RAS kids components, and teachers love to use this with their reading instruction. When can we use these types of curriculum? Well, this curriculum is available during the day for teachers, but also during our before and after school tutoring, as well as during our summer school. Thanks, Mrs. Rogers. Another important program here at LPA is our EL program. Let's sit down to the EL room and take a look at what's going on. Hello, Ms. Williams. Can you tell me what EL means? So EL means English learners. How does a student qualify for EL services? So if a student's primary language is not English, uh, they are given a placement test to uh, determine their level, level of English. Mm -hmm. How are English learners identified? Um, during registration, all parents complete a home language survey. Uh, if the survey indicates a language other than English uh, spoken at home, then I'm required to give students the Zella test. What, e what EL programs are offered at Lakeside? Uh, we offer SEI and ILLP classes. Uh, SEI classes, students receive four hours of intensive English each day in a self-contained classroom. And in the ILLP uh, classes, students receive uh, four hours of intensive English in a mainstream classroom. What does ELD stand for? ELD stands for um, English Language Development Instruction and is based on key um, four key components, um, listening, speaking, writing, and reading. What is Azela? So Azela uh, stands for the Arizona Language Learner Assessment that is given every year to EL students to measure their English proficiency. Thank you, Ms. Williams. Back to the newsroom with more of what's new in the news. Thank you. That's great. But what I love best about Taiwan is those parent involvement nights. Oh yeah, remember that awesome play Room on a Broom they did last year in the year Mr. Kunkel was a huge dragon? And remember that cool poetry was at the end of the year? I think I remember the pizza the best. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know research says that a family's involvement in their child's school and education has a major influence on their children's achievement in school and through life? Wow! Well, here at Lakeside, they have a whole committee devoted just to that. Our parent and family involvement, which we like to call PAFI, is already busy planning this year's exciting events. Let's welcome committee member Denise Lynn and get more information about how parents can become involved this year. Mrs. Lynn, thank you for joining us today. Can you tell us more about the PAFI opportunities for parents this year? Well, at the beginning of the school year, Parents were asked to fill out volunteer forms to match their interests and talents with some of the needs at our school. We love it when our parents get involved and volunteer with us. What are some of the events you are planning? We are planning a library night, a literacy night, and a cultural night. We will also be hosting some workshops and a community night that parents can attend and get some great information and resources. How can parents find out about all these cool events? Parents will be receiving a PAFI calendar to help remind them of all the events. Also, events are always on the LPA website and the Title I blog, and teachers will send out event information through Class Dojo as well as handouts that students are to take home. Thank you, Mrs. Lynn. I can't wait to see what they do for Alert to See Night this year. So, Jasmine, have you heard about the School Parent Compact? I hear it's pretty important. You know, I think we should watch this short video to learn more about it. The Compact is a commitment from the school, the parent, and the student to share in the responsibility for improved academic achievement. It outlines the roles, responsibility, and activities of the school. Our school relies on the support of our parents to help raise student achievement. The administration, staff, and students extend an invitation to all parents and community members to partner with our school. 
You, as Title I parents, have the right to be involved in the development and revision of the School Parent Compact. We know that learning can take place only when there is a combined effort between the home and school. We are all committed to helping each student progress in school. This agreement is a promise to work together. We believe that this agreement can be fulfilled with a team effort. Together, we can improve teaching and learning. In order for children to reach school standards, they need support from all the adults in their lives. Teachers have the important job of instructing students. Other school staff contribute to making the school a place where children can learn. Parents have the equally important job of providing a safe, healthy, and caring home that supports learning. The compact lists the specific duties of school staff and parents. With the compact, everybody knows what they are supposed to do and what others are supposed to do. It helps everyone keep on track in support of students. There sure are a lot of great ways to get involved here at LPA. I agree. So, Brianna, I think it is safe to say LPI has come up with some amazing ways to use our Title I grant to benefit all of the students here at LPA. So true, Jasmine. I think it's going to be a very successful year for LPA students. Well, that's our news for tonight. Thank you for joining us. Good, Good night, everyone. Um, they don't take a little bit Girl, that's not a drink. Like Robin, <laughs> no, that's what you no, do it. No, but that's how Robin Williams drinks. She goes, "Oh my gosh, shut up!" No hands for teachers. on what all the excitement is about? Well, Jasmine, I do know it is the nation's oldest and largest federally. Oh, don't worry, I got all the audio for this. Wait, what? The curriculum is available during the day, for during the school day. Dang it. <laughs> No, if you try to do it like Sharpay, don't try, don't attempt it. And go, boom, boom, ma! You're stupid. Turn <laughs> <Shut> up! <laughs> okay, okay, go, go, go. Should I probably start by gum? Probably. <laughs> She's stupid. Oh, I love you, though. Wait.